We are on day three of Mustang Week 2022. Oh, you're about to start cleaning? Yeah. Like these kids, basically, yeah. We're, we're blaming it on the kids. When you have kids, you can blame it on the kids. When we're older, you know, what do they call it? Empty nesters? I, I watch the RV channels. Yeah. We're empty nesters, yeah. We've got all of this set up right here. Now that I kind of like this, ice machine, air fryer, toaster, coffee machine, makes it kind of nice that we have everything, doesn't it? Yeah, because we don't have a lot of counter space. Look at this, I'm full. My gray water tank is full, my poo tank is full. Because we have the car trailer attached to the RV and we're basically taking up the entire length of the lot. Our plug wire is like long enough to reach it, but our sewer hose is basically about 10 foot poo short. So I'm gonna try to get another one and basically extend it to attach because we haven't been able to dump our sewer hose since we've been here. We've just been been hanging out with all Laura's poo. All mine. All yours. That's what we're gonna do first thing is get a new poo hose. Well, they call it the stinky slinky. Yep, and then this little dude, he's just all over the floor, isn't he? Yeah. You guys watch the videos and you probably think that like we're this very organized, like we are completely like unorganized, like off schedule family. Yeah. I'm sitting here vlogging, she's just you know, picking up cleaning stuff. Yeah, but so I'm gonna run to Walmart, gonna go try to find this hose, and then I guess we are gonna pick up this video because I think tonight is Beaver Bar, and that's one of the best meats. So, yeah, we have golf cart all loaded up. So I'm gonna take the 500. Might take Mama. I said that you could dump the sewer hose while you're going down the road. Oh yeah, when we leave. So we rented another camper for my mom and Laura's sister because it's too crowded in ours. And we got a good deal on this thing. Bedroom up there. What, are you gonna sleep the day away? No. Let's go, we're gonna hop in the 500. It is dirty, this thing needs a wash bad. It really, you have, yeah, it's been a while since you rode in it. Went to Walmart, but Sam, he actually had my drone in my other vlog camera. So maybe he might have got you guys some video from SBB from Dino Day today. So we'll see how that went. All right, so we're back again. We hijacked the JD Joyride vlog. We're out here at the Pro Dino out here at SBB. Um, it looks like the sign-up sheet was out weeks ago, so I guess we're not going to be able to get Dino today, but we'll still try to figure out some numbers later. But in the meantime, we're going to get some footage, we're going to show off some cars, and then we'll probably get some drone shots for you. update for the dyno setup so it looks like we'll be able to hit the dyno during the car show so the car show they're having open dyno so it's kind of a first come first serve whereas this had a little bit of a sign up this is an actual challenge they're trying to see who has the most horsepower out here everybody knows we love here on the channel all these fox bodies the notch backs that's a nice black notch back and over here we got our Celine notch back with the Shelby hood vent I wonder what he's got cooking underneath of there. That's beautiful. And we got our Shelby convertibles. You don't see every day. This is a three valve, 4.6 liter swapped new edge. That's pretty sweet. This would probably be a fairly easy swap on the later model new edges because they came with the T3650 uh, TrueMac transmission, and it's a little five-speed transmission, but it's the same kind of transmission that they started putting in all the GTs with this engine configuration. So it'd be a relatively easy swap because you get to keep the same transmission, same drive shaft, same rear axle, and all you got to do is just change out your ECU, maybe a fuel pump, and a couple other odds and ends. So it looks like they were ready for us. As you can see, they've got cones marking all the sides there. Cops are already waiting right there. And then they got some signs marking the grass just off in the distance. But we've got traffic all the way back up, up the Murals Inlet Road. People are filling in. They don't like us at the gas station, that's for sure, but they'll suck it up. something 
you don't see every day. Here we have a top mount 3.7 liter V6. And if you remember, I used to have a 3.7 liter V6. And this is just one interesting thing. This motor can run about 600 wheel horsepower on a stock sealed motor. Just got back to the camper and hey, look at her. She's trying to get to me. Hey, pretty girl. Oh, look at that face. Well, you trying to go? I'm getting in. Is she going to be like the boys? As soon as I pulled up, you come running, didn't you? Look at her. What is she doing? What are you doing? Look at that, we got 20 foot of stinky slinky right there. All right, hon, install it. Okay, I'll have uh, my professional. Your professional do it? Who's that? You. We're good now. This is gonna be your first time riding in here? Yeah! Are you gonna ride in the fast car? <laughs> Start it up for her. Yeah. Okay. Let me go. Hey, you ready? Here we go. out here at Beaver Bar. I'm gonna go all the time doing drag races with trikes. It's gonna be nuts. I'm doing burnouts tonight. Yeah. What's going on everybody? So we're here still at Beaver Bar. Hey what's your name man? As you can see, it's a stacked house. We got a five liter right back here, and right behind me, we got a Cobra. Nobody better check on that two valve. He was leaking something. Thank you. 
That's a wrap for Beaver Bar. We're getting all finished up over here. You can see the carnage all behind me. Oh my gosh, it was an absolute mess. If you want any footage from any of the burnouts, hit me up down in the description, Burning Stallion. Hit me up, DM me. I'll send you out the videos. I've got all of them. I don't care. I'll send them all out to whoever requests them. Just let me know and send them on out. And I'm gonna see if I can find me JD so I can give the vlog back. JD wanted me to update the vlog, so we're about to go eat at California Kitchen. But he took Lena because I forgot to lock the golf cart. So I might like stop and shop a little bit since I'm all by myself, kid free. Maybe I'll get lost on my way to California Kitchen. I've been wanting one of these things. I hate vlogging in front of people, but I'm done shopping. Now I'm gonna go find them. What is wrong with your kids? not to embarrass him. I sound like I'm driving an electric car next to him. You can't even hear mine.
That thing's loud. It sounds good though. <laughs> Ask my buddy Nick. That is the actual Mustang saline from Too Fast, Too Furious. Sam pretty much just basically took over the joyride vlog for the day, so we're gonna see how that turned out. Yeah, we'll see how it turned out, but I mean, I tried to get on the dyno, but. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I was gonna, we needed to update you guys on the dyno uh, thing, so it didn't happen, right? It was a mess on the dyno. They had a long sheet, it's it's explained in there. Um, they, they had a sheet weeks ago, didn't really tell anyone much about it. But other than that, we're gonna try again during the car show, cause during the car show is when they have kind of the open dyno but we'll see because you get a big line going on that, that around that time. Yeah, and if we're not able to do that, I know where there is a dyno back oh. home. One way or another, we're hey, hitting the dyno. That we're hitting the dyno. We'll get it on the dyno, don't worry. <laughs> Thanks again, Sam, for everything, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't, it was this guy's fault. Ah. Because he, hey, hey, so we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.